We are coming off one of our best wins of the entire season against the Raptors in a second half comeback. We were down by about 17 points about halfway through this third quarter. And then we just kind of got hot towards the end of this game. We came out on top by five points, but that is only our 13th win of the season. And look at that attendance here at home, 83%. We are losing fan interest because we are now nine games below 500 with a 13 and 22 record approaching the halfway mark of this season ever since we changed our offensive focus to a pick and roll offense and our coach game plan the offense has seemingly gotten worse despite the system that we're currently running being tuned towards pick and rolls we are now below 113 points per game which is one of the lowest in the entire league and we are three and seven in our last 10 games. Meanwhile, the Neptunes are two games ahead of the rest of the pack to lead the Eastern Conference. This is probably one of the last moves I will make to try and turn things on because we've tried a couple of different things throughout the last three episodes and things haven't really panned out. In fact, things have kind of gotten worse uh, throughout the course of the season. So we're going to put this back to neutral offensive focus and we're just going to kind of see how the rest of the year unfolds. Might make a couple of uh, rotation adjustments as the year goes on, but not going to change too much else up the rest of the way unless we get to the deadline and think about a trade move because I think we might just be sellers instead of buyers because this is still a rebuild after all. The Force were the worst team in last year and it's not going to be, you know, easy to turn this team around in just a couple of months so we're still kind of in the middle of this team trying to get back to their winning ways or get to winning ways for the first time in the franchise one of the biggest talking points so far this year has been about homer cash our third overall pick seven foot tall don't really know if he's going to pan out yet but he really hasn't played well but at least he has high morale he's you know taking lots of shots in these games he's playing a lot he started most of the season. He actually won Rookie of the Month at some point this year. Not sure when that was. I'll have to check in a moment. But we have talked a lot about his scoring, especially inside. He's got four badges, including one for using drop steps in the low post. He's got a good second jump with the pogo stick. And uh, he has racked up some assists this year because he has post playmaker. But he has not really used post spin technician or drop stepper really in these games and you know he has been pretty bad at scoring against not only bigs but also mismatches so far this season and he only has c plus inside scoring b mid-range scoring the threes he's taken away too many of this year uh for sure his post defense and uh, rebounding have been fine but not great the iq says it's high but i haven't really seen that so far so we're just kind of waiting for him to develop as a low post scorer. Probably going to have to wait until next year to see him really step up and gain some more badges and gain some improvements in terms of the inside scoring numbers. But if you look at this, he's got a 76 driving layup, 77-ish dunking, 80 close shot. Uh, he's a bit worse on mid-range shots, but his post hooks are lower than 70, post fade 63. He's got, you know, relatively solid post control for a rookie big, but he's just not where he needs to be in terms of scoring in the interior. So I think I might move some plays away from him to try and just, I guess, give him only clean looks at the rim instead of trying to force the ball to him down low. But besides from that, it's just about the waiting game and allowing him to improve as the year and the series moves forward. So if we go to Homer Castro, I am just going to take off the post up low priority. I'll probably keep the PNR roll man, but I'll take off his first one and I might replace it with the mid range and just see if he can knock down some of those shots because that is right now the best part of his offensive game. And I will remove his third priority as well. So hopefully this means less shots for him, but more shots in the areas where he is better. So. That should help him. You know, we'll see if that actually comes to fruition. But we are now seeing a dip in terms of point production for Azar Thompson 
and Jimmy Thomas. Both of them have played very well this year. Uh, Thompson's been kind of a jack of all trades, master of none for us, both defensively and offensively. He gets rebounds, he passes the ball very well, and he's shot over 50% from the field. He's been really good from downtown compared to really any previous year for him. I mean, look at the difference. He's having his best career season from behind the arc throughout his 10-year career. So that has been a big plus for us offensively. Jimmy Thomas is knocking down his threes. Uh, Wilson Towns is doing all right from downtown. Ramirez is shooting pretty well from behind the arc. And so is our second round rookie, Clint Hardy, at 40%. But for Asar Thompson, we signed him to a massive four-year, $174 million contract. And if we're going to stay this bad throughout the course of the season, going into the offseason, then I'm thinking about either a trade deadline move to send him somewhere else where he can win some games, and then we can just rely on Thomas and Towns as the go-to scores and go-to playmakers the rest of the way and kind of go younger on this team. Or I can just save that trade for the offseason and think about a draft trade-up, which I think could be in the cards, especially if we get screwed over in the lottery, just like we did in our first offseason with this team. We had the best sides and ended up with the fifth overall pick, so we acquired pick three in the draft last year. Might be doing something similar if we like some players towards the top of the draft, which we checked last episode. Throughout the rest of the NBA, Mac Boyd is still the league's top score at 29.4 points per game. Nobody has over 30. And as of right now, you got Wemby at the top of the MVP race. And right behind him, Mac Boyd once again trying to get back in the MVP column after Glenn Carroll or whoever it was won it last year over him. And if we look at Rookie of the Year right now, Jerome Vaughn, the first overall pick, the Michael Jordan comparison, averaging 17, 5, and 4 right now with 1.5 steals per game as a rookie. That's very impressive. Homer Castro in fourth right now, averaging 9 and about 7 with 3 assists per game. He's racking up some blocks too. That's one of the best parts of his overall profile is his defensive ability in the low post. And that's where he's been his best so far this season. And as expected, our team status has shifted from buying to selling because we are so far below 500. Well, that's not good. We sim two games and Jimmy Thomas is going to be knocked out for probably around a month. So in his place, we're going to start Jose Ramirez. He'll get the same minutes that Thomas was getting. Then we'll give Wendell Moore the backup minutes at shooting guard. We split four sim games, and one of those losses was to the Mavericks once again, who have less than 10 wins on the season. We have now lost two games against them, and we really blew this game there in that third quarter, and our comeback in the fourth fell short by three points. 23 for Wilson Towns, 21 for Homer Castro. That's one of his better games all season long. But Jose Ramirez, 4 for 10. Thompson, 2 for 13. 0 for 6 from downtown. And Melvin Harrison has yet to figure things out off the bench. We did, though, get back in the win comp, taking down Jerome Vaughn and the Bulls behind 28 points from Wilson Towns on a nice double-double from Asar Thompson. For the Bulls, Jerome Vaughn put up 16, 4, and 5, but shot 6 for 20 from the field. Might want to watch... Our next matchup against the Bulls, if we have one. But it's going to be later on in the season here on April 1st, our last matchup. I do want to watch a game against the first overall pick, so we'll, we'll watch that one later on in the season. The offense has definitely been very inconsistent this entire season because we just put up 93 points against the Brooklyn Nets. This was going to be a big game for us if we were to win it, but instead we lose. 32 for Josh Giddy, who's third and MVP voting as of right now. B.I. drops 29 with his new team. And nobody for us had more than 17 points. This has been a constant problem all year long. And in one of his first starts of the season, Ramirez shoots 4 for 13. These injuries are so confusing. We just got Thomas back after a week of him being hurt. He was supposed to be out for like a month. But I guess he's back early. I'll take it. 
in his first game back, we hold the Knicks to 84 points. We still don't have a guy scoring over 18 points in a game, but that is a pretty nice defensive performance. We held Richardson to 5 for 18 shooting, Deion Whitney to 6 for 13. A lot of guys off their bench shot poorly, 1 for 6 for Gary, 0 for 4 for Chris Murray, 0 for 4 for Levins. Nice win right here. They shot, both teams shot horribly. We just came out on top because we murdered these guys in free throws. 40 attempts to 14. Jesus, what a stinker of a game. What is going on in Indiana? We are about to bludgeon these guys by like 50 plus points, maybe 60. We just beat them 123 to 67. What is going on here with the Pacers? Held to below 20 points in the first three quarters. Each 27 for Jimmy Thomas to lead the way. Two boards shy of a triple-double was Wilson Towns. And nobody really shot too bad for us. Hardy was 3 for 9, but that's not awful for one game. They shot 33%. Alright, we got a close game here against the Lakers at home. 68 62 827 to go here in this third quarter let's watch the rest of it and try and get our third straight win we jump in with our point guard wilson towns at the line for two free throws the first one is up and good to make it an eight point game also good and i guess he's got three free throws he must have been fouled on a three-point attempt to make it nine towns got all three for like the first time maybe ever in uh, his career. And down below, Golden State got a one-point win over the Rockets. Both teams are, I believe, over 500, trying to vie for top playoff seeding. We are trying to climb our way back to 500, but it's gonna take a while, I think, with how poorly we played over the last several months. Thomas with it. He makes the pass to Thompson. Guarded by Hood Shafino. He's gonna have to pull out. Top shot, no good. Lukowski pulls down the rebounds. The Lakers come in as the worst rebounding team in the entire league. We are not much better, so... Looking for a good performance on the glass here to... Just give me some kind of hope there, because we have been horrible in terms of allowing offensive rebounding. That's a nice shot by Cunningham. Both teams have now hit 25 shots in this game. Thomas fires on the other end. The mid-range jumper rattles home. Inside. And off to Lukowski. Back to Gill. Contested shot. No good. And Malone boxes out for the board. What is that? Shot by Castro. That just hit a fan off the head. Blocked by Lukowski. And the force call timeout. Nice pass inside to Campbell, but he's blocked off the backboard by Lukowski for his second straight. And they turn it into points on the other end. The fifth foul on Asar Thompson. We are halfway through the third quarter. He has fouled it a couple of times already in this series, and now one foul away from doing it for a third time in games that we have watched. Screen from Campbell. Towns trying to get by Hood Shafino, but pretty good defense by LA. Towns off the window and he got it to go. Quick shot, top of the key. No good from Hood Shafino. Eight point lead for the force. Outboarding him by seven so far as Ramirez checks back in the game and he turns it over. Up to Gill. He almost gave it right back. It's going to be a jump ball. jump ball. Thompson versus Lukowski. And Lukowski won it, but Ramirez tracks down the ball. Great hustle right there to get that loose one. And Campbell has got to lay that one in. We get it back. Thanks to Ramirez once again. His three is offline. Another trigger pulled by Hutchifino. No dice. He has yet to score, I believe, since we've jumped in. 
Bounce cuts. Nobody in the paint. He can jam it home. Nice pick and pop. Fires picked up by Thompson. He has to fire off the glass too much. Wilson Towns buries the triple. He's got five straight points. And the Force have their largest lead of the game. Right foreman answers right back with a three of his own. No pick and roll with Campbell. He gets the feed over Lukowski. No good off the glass. He's been playing some really good post defense already. Gill baseline off the back of the backboard. Out of bounds. Look at Wilson Towns. Over a million all-star votes. But I think he's too low to make it. Ramirez fires behind the arc and leases it from deep. Both offenses have kind of been sputtering since we have jumped in here, but we've been the better team so far, and the Lakers are, I think, the same number of games below 500 as we are, so this is a pretty big game for both teams. Trying to show off what they can do before the trade deadline arrives. In the corner, Towns just misses his second triple of the quarter. Trying to go one-on-one -on -one against Wilson Towns. Ochefino can't dribble past him. Notice fade away instead. No good. And we turn the ball over. Clint Hardy threw it right to Byers. Lukowski will have some free throws on the other end. First one is good off the back iron. Got Mary Bailey back in the game with Melvin Harrison and Jimmy Thomas as the back end is no good. But we almost cough it up. It's poked out of bounds. And it'll stay with us. Back out to Campbell. He's picked up by Lukowski. Shot clock under five. Got to create something. Gary Trent just got absolutely cooked. He's going to fire three, and he responds to Thompson's triple. Jimmy Thomas pulls the trigger. That one is no good. Brent, some good penetration. He's got five straight. Trying to save for the last shot of the third quarter. Bailey's got to get rid of it. The shot is no good. We go to the fourth quarter, up by ten. Another chance for us to win a game with a fourth quarter lead. Just got to protect this cushion. Fourth quarter begins. Pittsburgh with the ball. Jimmy Thomas spins and can't lay it in. Really tight defense from right foreman. Now Blackwell, the three, offline, but that was a good look. And it's stolen. Great read on the pass by Gilmore, and he turns it into points on the fast break. And the Lakers with the first bucket here in the final quarter of regulation. We almost turn the ball over, but Thompson gets the feed right at the rim for two. He's got 14 points and over 60% shooting from the field. Oh, Harrison just got put on skates, but Gilmore misses the, the jump shots. All the backups in right now for LA. Harrison whips it inside. Campbell's got a clean look. Gilmore attacking between two defenders, and Thompson has fouled out with over 10 and a half to play. Get a real tired of seeing him foul out in some of these games. But it does free up playing time for Clint Hardy. So we'll see what he can do the rest of this fourth quarter. Might see Wendell Moore at some point too with the foul out. Hardy launches. The three rattles out. They lob it and Castro snatches the alley-oop. We got a fast break. Thomas, though, steps out of bounds and turns it over. 
Gilmore penetrates again, and this time he gets right to the rack for two. Nice pass down low, and Wilson Towns rocks the rim off the assist from Jimmy Thomas. Brents inside, rejected by Castro. Great help defense by the big fella. I've loved his defense. The offense is where we have a lot of question marks, but inside the paints, he's going to play his best on the defensive end. Shot clock under five for Pittsburgh. Backdoor cut, Towns with the lay-in. Ramirez the assist, Towns up to 18 points. He's had most of those here in the second half. He had four points before those free throws to open our stint here in this game. What a wild shot by Trent. That one almost dropped in. Another near turnover, but Towns scores again. He's got 20. That is an ill-advised shot from Gill. Heavily contested. Over 8 to play. Our lead has blossomed into 14 points. Ramirez misses the mid-range jump shot. Another horrible shot. This time it's Jawan Strong pulling the trigger from like 30 feet out. Eyeball screen from Murray Bailey. And Towns leaves it for him. Top of the key. Back iron. One on one against Ramirez. Gary Trent. Good penetration and he finishes the play. Taken. Pop and Town just coasts inside for another two-handed finish. An awesome fourth quarter so far by our young point guard. Juan Strong, the open look just outside the elbow, and it's back to 12 just like that. And a five on the clock. Bailey just launches, and he cashes in from downtown. What a shot. Our largest lead of the half here with... Just over six to play. Take and roll. Trent somehow got the pass to Blackwell, but he can't finish. Hounds leaves it for the open. Trifecta, but no good from Ramirez. Trent with the line. She sticks it. Another high ball screen for Wilson Towns. Going right after right. Four men and he will draw the foul. He's got some free throws. Went three for three on his first stint here at the line and back in the third quarter. And now he's four for four. Got to be one of his best starts to a game at the line in his career. But as I say it, there's his first miss. Hills wide open on the other end and... The Lakers take advantage of some lazy, fast-break defense. We got Jimmy Thomas back in the game. That's a wide-open look, and he laces it from deep. L.A. calls timeout. Five to play. The Lakers trail by 13 points here in the fourth quarter. We got Melvin Harrison playing out there right now, so not Wendell Moore. He must be playing Thomas at the three spot right now. Gill's going to have to launch this one. Contested shot. Really good defense by Pittsburgh there on that possession. And Harrison finds Towns on the baseline, but he beefs the layup. Man, that one's got to go in next time. It's kicked down low, and Castro picks up his third block of the second half. That one comes against Cunningham. Bounce, kicks it out. Thomas, the open look, just inside the arc. 15-point lead for the force. One of our, our, our best shooting days since opening night, over 50% from the field. Very promising stuff right here, trying to get our third straight win. It's poked out, and Th Towns, not Thomas, picks up the steal. He's got Malone. He misses a layup. He gets it back and has it rejected. Third time's the charm. No. Castro again blocked by Lukowski. This guy is unreal. Little pick and pop with Byers. 
Left open for three, he sinks it. Harrison, freed up off ball, his three is online. Ochefino trying to beat Towns off the dribble. He pulls up and misses the, the left-handed shot. Just over two and a half to play. This game is nearly over. Just got to get one or two more buckets to drop, and this game is all said and done. Harrison and one against their best defender, Vlado Lukovsky. Been blocking people left and right, but this time Harrison gets the best of them, and he converts to three-point play. Our largest lead of the game once again. And the Force take this one in Pittsburgh. One of our first win streaks of the entire season. Might be our longest two at three. Twenty three and six for Wilson Towns as he leads us to a very strong second half performance. Jimmy Thomas supplies twenty one points with five for ten shooting from downtown. Azar Thompson had fourteen points and was shooting very well before he got out of the game. And uh, we got the win despite Kiel Malone going one for nine and Campbell shooting four for eleven. But you can't have every single player shoot well in a game. Big win here against the Lakers, who are not a very good team. Kind of right where we are with 19 wins. We have 18 wins. But this might be our biggest win streak of the year. And looking back, I think that is the case. Easily. Make it four straight wins with this dub against the Wizards. And in all four games, we have scored over 100 and allowed less than 100. So the defense is playing a whole lot better. These have been pretty bad teams, but we're also kind of a bad team record-wise. Only one of these wins was against a team over 500, and that was the Knicks. But we still beat them pretty handily, and we have another game against them here in three days. Despite dropping 126 points, nobody for us scored more than 19. But every single player got involved. Homer Castro, though, 2 for 12 in this game. At least it did not cost us. Against the Kings, in danger of losing our first game in six. We are going to be trailing by quite a bit, entering the fourth quarter. And yeah, we're down by over 20 points here. The Kings are going to end our win streak at five. They got 26, six, and seven from Keontae George. Only 17 from Luka, but a lot of guys in double figures for the Kings. We had 24 for Jimmy Thomas, 15, 3, and 8 for Towns. Thompson kind of struggling here offensively these last couple of games. And he has now dropped below Jimmy Thomas as the top scorer on this team. Well, he heard the talk. He just dropped a triple-double to get us back in the win column against the Wizards. 22 and 9 for Wilson Towns. Jimmy Thomas, 5 for 11, shooting 10 boards from Castro. They allow 23 and 16 from Calvert Miles, who is, I guess, now in Washington, no longer in Detroit. 23 for Mike Conley, but we come out on top thanks to some really good three-point shooting. Now we have a really tough three-game stretch against some contending teams, including the Timberwolves, who are 28 and 20, the Spurs, who lead the West with a 35 and 14 record, and we've got the Sixers right after that at home who have 30 wins right now versus our 21. So, tough three games as we approach the deadline, which I think is on the 3rd of February, if I'm not mistaken. So, we are really close to potentially making that move. But we've also played a lot better as of late. Look how many wins we've had. We've won seven of our last eight games. That's pretty big for us. Here we go against Minnesota. They get out to our early first quarter lead. But it's only a five-point game. And now with a strong start to the second quarter, we jump in front and now we're trading leads back and forth. We gotta watch this second half considering how close this game is 
and how important this could be to how we enter the trade deadline. It's a five point game to start the second half. Minnesota has it to start the third quarter, trailing by five as Edwards scores at the rim over Jimmy Thomas. They've only hit 15 shots. We've hit 21, but it's only a one score game. Down low and Kessler skies to snatch the pass. Our eighth turnover here in this game, we've actually kind of gotten better as the year has gone on turnover wise, but that's a costly one right there. Kessler lost the ball, Castro with the steal. Downs with some good penetration, but he's blocked by Kessler on the help. They took out Edwards because he picked up his fourth foul on a reach in just before that play. So he's on the bench for now as Castro picks up another stop on Walker Kessler in the low post. He takes it all the way and he left it short on the other end. Behind the yard, Carl Anthony Towns misses the trifecta. And Castro with the rebound again. He's got Towns on the low block. His floater is up and out. Wilson Towns only one for six from the field here in this game and three points out of the first half. Kessler rejected from behind by Castro. Almost got the putback. He'll have third chance points here. Towns fouled by Castro and he got the bucket too. He can tie things up at 60 with the free throw. It's up and it's good. Got a new ball game the rest of the way. Scratch whatever else we've seen. Got to come out on top these last, what, 22 minutes? That shot's good from Thompson. Downs lost his dribble. Malone's right there, and they're going to get him for a foul. That's his fourth. So Edwards has four for Minnesota. Malone's got four for us. And Minnesota keeping themselves right in this ball game as Towns ties it once again. Malone spins, leaves it for Towns inside. He's pretty good at finishing at the rim, and he shows it off right there against J.J. Weaver. Jason Wallace, good penetration. Back out to Towns in the corner for the three. No good. The ball is tipped out to Keon Malone. Behind the arc, Towns lets it fly and connects. He's got five straight points, and we lead by just as many. Shot clock under five for the Timberwolves. The shot from Weaver rattles out, and Thomas pulls it down. Thomas leaves it for Towns. The three is good again. Wilson Towns catching fire here in this third quarter. And now it's turned over by J.J. Weaver. Wilson Towns, the steal, making plays on both ends. Thomas too much off the window, but Castro pulls it down to keep it alive with the force. And our 10 on the shot clock. Thomas trying to create. Help comes from Kessler, and the shot is rejected. There's a mismatch somewhere. We got Thomas guarding Kessler, but Towns going to go to work by himself. Four knots. Kessler has to force a jump shot. He got it. Off ball. Towns open again. Another three is drilled. Thompson the assist on that one. Minnesota losing some momentum here. The shot from Lineham rims out again. Thompson steps into a mid-range jumper. It's deflected by Case and Wallace. Some blocks by both teams already as they turn the ball over. Malone right between both players for the steal. Thompson rejected by Kessler again. There's a fight for the ball. It rolls out of bounds. Timberwolves ball. Freddie Simmons, the step back tray, no good. So he has a new home here in Minnesota. We tried to sign him, but got Melvin Harrison instead. Would have rather had Simmons for sure, I think, after Harrison's pretty poor season. A three for Lineham. On line, finally, and it's back to six. 
Towns going right to the rim against Simmons. There's no defense being played, apparently, and he can just lay it in for two. He's having a really strong third quarter. Again, had three back in the first half and has climbed up to 50% shooting after a one for six start. Pretty impressive bounce back half from Wilson Towns. The Wallace three won't drop in. We get it back up by eight. Thompson giving room. No good. It's left inside for Kessler. Bailey's right there with them. He has to fire. It is denied. Both teams showing off their paint defense here in this third quarter. Nice pass. Campbell with a clean look behind the arc. Wilson Towns the assist. And our lead extends to 11. Wallace back to Kessler. He rocks the rim. Campbell just got turned around. You've got five blocks and six steals already in this game. Open for a lot more down the stretch. To hold on to this lead. Got to find a shot here. Bailey just has to jack one up. Pretty good defense that time by the Timberwolves. Line them just inside the arc. He hit two straight shots. Out of the timeout, Wilson Towns with a great attack towards the rim. 15 here in the third. Towns the screen, Simmons the three, he connects on it. It's back to six, Minnesota not going away here. Eyeball screen, little pick and roll. Ramirez does not make the pass. He just fires a three. No good. Simmons. Just outside the charity line. No good. Played some pretty solid defense here in this third quarter, but so, have, so has Minnesota. Campbell hits the pull-up. They've shot 36% in this game. They're playing some really great defense, I guess. Wallace, though, over the top feed when Bailey wasn't looking. Screen. Towns, the shots. He can't be stopped right now, man. Simmons is just a horrible defender, especially on ball. Esler leaves it for Towns. You got to find a shot here. He just throws it up. We're going to save for the final shot of the third quarter. Olsen Towns gets by Kessler, but he's rejected from behind. Kessler's got like three blocks in a single quarter, but we have an eight-point cushion with 12 to play. An 84 to 76 lead with a quarter left to play. We got Harrison, Thomas, Thompson, Campbell, and Bailey out there right now. So a mix of starters and bench players. And our shot clock is counting down. That's a great pass inside to Campbell with the one-handed stuff. Simmons lets it fly. That one is off. Harrison, hop step, and the finish over Simmons. Screen from Christie frees up Simmons for a three. This time he connects. Thomas, top of the key. He's going to fire over Kaysen Wallace. Back iron. What a pass inside. Simmons hangs on and is fouled by Thompson, his third. He does not like the call. Four for 13 off the bench here in this game for Simmons. Hasn't been very efficient. But he has provided plenty of points. Back door. Top City reverse jam. Towns the assist. Uh-oh. Jason Wallace. Got to knock that one out next time, man. That was a wide open three. That could have been a... Big shot here in this game. With time counting down, he's going to make Thompson take the shot. From the elbow, it's good. Simmons leaves it for Thomas. He's got it from behind the arc. 
Minnesota is still not given up here in this game, and why should they? It's a pretty close one. Clint Hardy back in the game for the force. Bailey stays in. Fadeaway shot off the window. Almost got it to go. Nice kick out. But Abdi is picked up by Ramirez. Wallace, the triple. That was in Homer Castro's mouth. Five point game. Hardy penetrates and kicks it back out to Towns. Little pick in. Hop. Towns pulls up and nails the midi, man. Edwards back in the game since he picked up four fouls early in the second half. And he nails his first shot off the bench. Down low. Quick feed to Ramirez. Nice lay in. Another great pass by Wilson Towns. We've been so good at getting those backdoor cuts and those back screens. Nice pass. Edwards, though, over Hardy. can get it to drop in. Castro back out. Wilson Towns can't see to miss right now. And right there, Homer Castro shows off that, that post playmaker badge with that assist. Edwards penetrates against the second round rookie. No good, but it's kept alive. Obvious triple good in response to the town's three. Over the top. Bailey gets the alley oop. Towns another great pass. The offense is looking pretty good right now, I gotta say. Edwards behind the arc, no good, but in comes Patterson for the putback. This game is nowhere near over. Now it's a lot for Ramirez, he scoops it up and in. Patterson a fingertip away from knocking that one out of bounds. But two straight fantastic lobs from Wilson Towns. Edwards connects on this three and it's back to six. Down spins and rises. His first miss in a minute. But we get it right back as Ant coughs it up. Right to Clint Hardy. Castro, lefty shot, no good over Denny Avdia. He's taking a lot less of those shots down low, which is proven how well those priorities have paid off in terms of those changes, but he still has got a lot of work left to do on his inside scoring. Two straight triples for Ant, and our lead is cut in half. Gotta focus up here these last five minutes. Bailey over Avdia, no good. I thought he faked him out for a second. Instead, Ant just inside the arc. That was a close one. And Castro brings it up and misses the pull-up shot. Kick and roll, Patterson, no good. Great defense by Bailey, just a foot away from the rim. Just saved a bucket right there. Ramirez misses the quick shot on the other end. We got three starters about to check back in at the next dead ball. Edwards, Euro steps his way into a dunk. Homer Castro wants no part of that, he just backs off. One point game, can we please not blow this lead? It's a great team that we're facing. I'm going to call timeout and bring these starters back in because we got to have the starters out there for the rest of this game. All right, Malone, Thomas, and Thompson back in to close the game. Can the starters step up and give us a chance to win? No good from Jimmy Thomas on his first shot back in the game. And we get it right back. Malone cuts off the pass. They bring in Towns for these last three and a half minutes. Malone comes over for the screen. Towns the open. Look perfect. We double Ants. Leaving Weaver open. We've got a tie game. I just don't get why you would double late in a game. I just don't understand it. And now we turn the ball over. This team does have the most steals per game in the last 30 days. 
Still, they will cause some turnovers. And for the lead, good! Minnesota leads for the first time. I think all second half. It's a home game, fellas. Please don't do this to me again. And we just hand it right to line him. What the hell was that, Thompson? We almost got the steal, but Malone couldn't hang on. Everything going Minnesota's way these last three minutes. And we've completely blown the lead. Thompson jams it in on the other end. Will that get us back on track? Please. It's left for Towns, a foot inside the arc. All of a sudden, these guys just can't miss. Thompson wants it down low. Back and down line him. He misses the layup. And takes Thomas right to the rim. Got him up in the air, and... What has happened? The defense has completely collapsed, and the offense has... Just hit a wall. This is an ugly fourth quarter. Thomas for three. He got it. It's not over. And he gets a steal off of Edwards on the other end. You got to score here. Towns leaves it for Thomas. Another three. No good this time. Edwards just got there in time for the shot. Edwards steps back. That three's no good. We still have a chance, but you gotta go fast here and give herself a two for one. Malone misses the pull up. And now we have to foul. I can't believe we blew that lead. We led by eight with 12 to play, man. It was looking so good for a while, but then after that six minute mark or so, we just collapsed like all the other fourth quarter heartbreaks at home, no less. We're only adding to it as the year goes on. And despite like a 25 point second half performance by Wilson Towns, we blow a fourth quarter lead again. And we drop this one against a really good Minnesota team. This would have been a big win for us. Instead, it's one more heartbreaker. We got outscored 41 to 26 in the last 12 minutes. The defense just completely fell apart after a pretty good game in the first three quarters. I mean, how many times do we have to witness this man? It's becoming multiple times per episode at this stage. Ant drops 27, Towns drops 22. We did not play great defense against their two best players and that was why we lost this game. They also took a lot more free throws than we did, and they only missed two of them. So that also did not really help us out. And um, another just really bad loss. Now we have a huge game out of the All-Star Draft against the Spurs. It's going to be a Team Victor and Team Ja All-Star game. Victor Wembanyama ends up drafting Mac Boyd, Luca, Lamelo, and Glenn Carroll with. Guys off the bench like Evan Mobley, Scoot Henderson, Darren Fox, Cat, AC Cole, Billy Willis, and Cam Whitmore, his teammate over in San Antonio. While John Morant is a starting five of himself, Cade Cunningham, the Joker, Tatum, and Brandon Miller, with SGA off the bench alongside Darius Garland, Josh Giddy, Jabari Smith Jr., Martin Red, Zion, and Delano Collins. No All Stars for the Force this season. We get off to a really hot start there in the first quarter against the Spurs, but then we promptly let them back in the game as we approach the fourth quarter. 
And ever since the first, they've kind of been outplaying us. Might have a close finish here in the fourth quarter. Another 10-point lead. And the Spurs are trying to climb back in to close this game. Can we hold on to win? Eight-point game, under four to play. Let's watch the rest. First shot. As we jump in, is going to be for Wimbanyama, the current MVP frontrunner, but the shot rims out. He's also kind of tired out there. Thomas blocked inside by Miles Turner, who I guess is one of their new pickups from the offseason. We're also facing Eamon Thompson, the brother of Azar Thompson. He's open in the corner for three. Five-point game. He's got 19 points against his brother. We do not have Wilson Townsend right now. We have Melvin Harrison playing the last few minutes of this game. Castro misses over Turner. And if they score here, it's going to be a one-score game. Turner lays it in for two. We have Harrison playing because Wilson Towns fouled out despite being our highest plus-minus player in the game with tw uh, plus 12. Harrison... Got the mid-range jumper. That's a big shot. It's under two and a half to play. You've got to play tight-knit defense here the rest of the way if we want a chance to take down the Western Conference leaders. That ball's deflected by Castro on the Wimbanyama shot. He gets it up ahead and draws the foul against, I believe that is Chris Murray, not Keegan Murray, but it could be either one. I forget who's who, really. The first free throw is good from Homer Castro. To push our lead to seven. The back end is offline. Wemby gets the screen from Wentmore, but Castro gets around it perfectly. Shot clock counting down. Shot no good. Great defense by the rookie on back-to-back -back possessions. Thomas with the ball. Shot clock counting down. Malone's got it creates. MB in the pain. He got the bucket in the best of Castro this time. And if the free throw was good, our lead's going to be cut in half once again. And it is good. We just got to hold on for just over 60 more seconds. Thomas left it short off the window. And the Spurs have a chance to tie it up right here. Out of the corner comes Fleming. He leaves it for Wimanyama at the rim. One point game. They've got 37 assists. They average 36 again. They're, 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 they're the best passing team in the NBA. Can we please not blow this? Not two straight games against really good teams. Thomas shooting off Thompson with a huge lay in for two. Who do the Spurs go to? Oh, what shot do they end up taking here on this possession? Down by three. It's Wembenyama off the glass. He scored seven straight points. Castro has to inbound it. And the Spurs do not have to foul at all. If we score here, we can win the game. Thompson playing some good defense here on Jimmy Thompson. He's got to pass out of this. But he's not going to, and we got it! Jimmy Thomas, another huge bucket! And barring a four-point play, the Spurs can only force overtime. Whitmore, Jack Swan up, no good, Castro the rebound! That was an uh, ill-advised shot right there by Cam Whitmore, but I will take it. We were due for a fourth quarter where we hung on to a win. This might be it. Thomas with the final six points scored by Pittsburgh. All of them absolutely crucial. Up to Whitmore again. He hits the three. It's not over. They're going to foul Asar Thompson. If you hit both, the game is over. If you miss one, we might be going to overtime here. The front end is online, and Thompson hits both free throws here in the clutch. 
The Spurs run out of time. We finally beat a really good team in a close game. 115 to 111, your final score. We just took down the Western Conference leaders. The Spurs could not muster a single 20-point score in this game. Wemby held to 17, 9, and 5. Pretty good for the guy who's going to win MVP most likely. 20 points for Jimmy Thomas, 20 for Azar Thompson, and 19 for Towns before he got hurt. All three guys step up, and we come out on top with a huge, huge win against a really great team. And now we have, I believe, one or two games between us and the trade deadline. And one of those comes against one of the top Eastern Conference teams, the 76ers, who are right now four games back from the Neptunes in second place. And in this game, we take them down. We are playing some really good basketball these last couple of weeks. Eight and two in our last 10 games. Gotta be our best, like, four-week, three-week stretch of the entire season. We are now only four games below... 500 if we sim through this date so we are at the trade deadline we're going to stop right here and we're going to end the episode going into a huge game on the road against the lakers but are we buyers or are we sellers as we enter playing our best basketball of the entire season that is the question that i will leave you guys with i will leave you guys off with some stats here as well for a couple of our players Thompson back on top as our top scorer per game. Wilson Towns shooting now over 46%. Ramirez improving. Castro getting better. The bench, pretty much every single player has shot better as of late. The team is coming together as we approach the post All-Star break. But I'm going to stop right here. Should we still consider selling and kind of tanking for a top pick? Or should we try and push and build on this good basketball here and try and push for a playoff spot? Let me know down below in the comments. Please like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you guys enjoy the series and the content. And I will see you guys in the next part of the year as we approach the All-Star break and what comes next. Thanks for watching and take care.